On the last part of Francis and Her Rabbit, Francis's little rabbit Hopper was being such a backseat artist and telling Francis what color crayons to use and what to draw. Francis was keeping herself busy because it was a rainy, shitty day outside. And look, here's Hopper telling her which crayons to use. And you know what? She listens to every single one of his suggestions, and he knows it. Look at him. Oh, how precious! She's putting apples on the tree! What is she gonna draw next? With the crayon, Frances was about to draw something. I wonder what she's gonna draw. Let's see what you folks think. She's gonna draw her and Hopper going to a strip club. Seems legit. Oh, you're cray cray. She will draw a town, a church, and a sun. Oh, that's an interesting suggestion. She's gonna draw her and Hopper frolicking in a field of flowers. Oh, that'd be so cute. I think that Frances is gonna draw more trees and a beautiful sky and sun. These are all wonderful suggestions. And let me tell you, the possibilities are endless. Who knows what's going on upstairs in Francis's little brain? What is she working on? Oh, it's a house! Or is it a church? Is it a store? Is that a barn? Wait, what the f is that? I think we need some more information here, says Hopper. I have an idea. Why don't you take, let's see, this crayon and do a little more work. You have to add some more detail, says Hopper. Thanks, Hopper, said Frances, and she decided to add a red roof and chimney to her house. Listen, this is a house, said Frances. I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea here. Oh, and look, she's adding the chimney. There it is. For the nice warm fireplace inside. Isn't that great? Oh, here, let's see. Let's uh, find another. Oh, yeah, here, use this crayon, stupid. Try to add more over in this area over here. Oh, Hopper, you're so clever. What a precious rabbit. I can't believe this little one. Rabbits often can be found in the forest and grasslands, and they munch away on grass. They love snacks like fruits and nuts and crunchy things. But here's the dividing line between rodents and rabbits. Rabbits, FYI, have two sets of incisor teeth, one right in back of the other. Two incisors. That's a huge diff. Rodents don't have that shit. Now look at this. She's making a beautiful sky. Frances paid attention to most all of Hopper's art direction, and she was really pleased with the way things were turning out. Oh wow, look at that! Now that looks more like a house! With an apple tree in the front yard, isn't that amazing? Yeah, 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 said Hopper. You can thank me later. And he went for another crayon to give to Frances. Here you go, kiddo. Keep it up. Come on, I'm gonna just start giving you some crayons and I want you to have some fun, okay? Here's another one. I want you to use all the space on your canvas, said Hopper. And Francis was so happy. Watch her get cray cray with the crayons. She's having a blast on a rainy day. And Hopper was too. He enjoyed assisting Francis in all of her art projects. Rabbits, FYI, over the years, have grown longer ears. And some scientists and a lot of folks that are, you know, scientists, believe it's probably because of their environment and having to listen for predators. How interesting. Oh my goodness, I wonder what this is that Francis is drawing. Don't be stupid. Subscribe now. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.